but I want to bring you a comedian first. He was here at the last African Praise Experience, and he's back because he did a phenomenal job. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Damola. Hallelujah. If you are enjoying yourselves in God's presence tonight, can you put your hands together for Jesus? Damola is my name. I feel so honored being here tonight. Events like this make us appreciate the Nigerian state. Nigeria is beautiful. Nigeria is amazing. We have enjoyed music from different parts of the country, and it helps us to understand the fact that there is um, beauty in our diversity, and what binds us together as a country is greater than whatever that separates us. As a master of ceremonies, if I have the opportunity of anchoring wedding receptions, where I see that the couple is from different parts of Nigeria, I'm always very excited, especially when I see that the guys from the east, the ladies from the west, the guys from the north, the ladies from the south, I'm always very excited. There are some parents that have issues with, you know, sometimes when they have issues with intertribal marriages, but as a master of ceremonies, I'm always happy because as far as I'm concerned, it fosters inter-ethnic synergy in Nigeria. I had a friend who wanted to get married a few years ago, and her father wondered that he must marry from an ethnic nationality, a conk Yoruba man. He said, when you want to marry, marry a Yoruba man. But she summoned courage and she took her fiancé to her father. And the, young, the father looked at him from head to toe, Yoruba man. And the first thing that came out of his mouth was, Bele. The boy said, yes, sir. He said, how are you? He said, I'm fine, sir. He said, Bele. He said, yes, sir. He said, what's your name? The guy said, my name is Bisi. The man said, Bisi. Bisi is a beautiful name. My sister is Bisi. My younger brother's daughter is also Bisi. But the first one is Ade Bisi. The second one is Oye Bisi. So which particular Bisi are you? The guy said, Indu Bisi. Yeah, BC is BC, depending on where you're looking at it from. Yeah. You know, if you ever schooled in Nigeria, your secondary school, the kind of secondary school you attended would determine the kind of debate topics they give you. And for example, you go to some kinds of schools here in Lagos, the kind of debate topics they give you can develop a country. You hear a democratic system of government is better than a military system. Those that always represent them are always very fresh. They're not under pressure, you know. They come out and you see something like this. The first thing they do is like it. The girls that represent them always do two puff puff hair with pink ribbon. Just hear something like this. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, sir. Incorruptible panel of judges. Accurate timekeeper. And my ever, I mean my ever, ever attentive audience. My name, and I mean my name, is Jeanette Johnson. I'm from Banana Flower Children's School. Can you hear the name? And I'm here to confidently support the motion that states that they bring out their tongue in between. That a democratic system of government is better, the T is silent, than a military system of government with the following points. You will be happy with what you are seeing. But some other schools I don't want to mention for security reasons. Their debate topic cannot develop a country. You hear topics like rice is sweeter than beans. Fleet is better than Otapia Pia. Iru Woro is better than what now? Nah? Iru Pete. Those that always represent them are always very old. 25 years old in GS2. The lapa lapa on their head, you can calculate the circumference. Their tie always look like sword. Their socks always look like bandage. See the hair in their leg, you think they are preparing for New Year Festival. The guy will just come out and do something like this. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Shyama. Incorrupted panel of judges. Accurate timekeeper, but that's on the job. And our code debaters, I am here to defend the defense, the motion that say that rice is sweeter than beans. 
with the following point. One, you have jollof rice, you don't have jollof beans. Two, you have fried rice, you don't have fried beans. Three, you have concussion rice, you don't have concussion beans. Four, you have a wild going, you don't have rice going. Five, you have a wild loan, you don't have rice yolo. Six, you have a wild loan too, you don't have rice yolo too. Seven, you can use a wild for begidi, you cannot use rice for begidi. Eight, you can use a wild for adalu, you cannot use rice for adalu. Nine, you can use a wild for moi moi, you cannot use rice for moi moi. Eleven. <laughs> I hope with this viewpoint of mine, I have confused you that rice is sweeter than this. Tuali Baba, Joe. You know, there's a big difference between canteen and restaurant. In a canteen with 500, you can taste everything. Give me rice, 100, macaroni, 50, and two pure water, and you are fine. For three hours, you don't need to eat anything again. But in a restaurant, you don't, most of the time, you don't have an idea of the cost of everything. You go based on speculation. Um, they always arrange the food from left to right. Um, give me a portion of rice, they put it. A portion of fish, they put it. Jollof rice, they put it. Indomie, I'm sorry, plantain, they put it. One meat and a bottle of water. Normal food for a normal person. But if God blesses you and you upgrade from a canteen to a restaurant, the way you order will show where you are coming from. You enter with pride. You now start asking. What is this? They say it's rice. Put it. What of that one? Dry beans. Put it. What of that one? Macaroni. Sorry, spaghetti. Put it. Egg. How many? Give me two. One comma. One meat. One egg. You not carry the food. It will not look like sacrifice. People will be greeting you. You don't know why. Well, you know, in a canteen, it's possible, to, it's possible to eat beans and bread with just 300. You just say, give me one bean, give me one bread, beans, two pure water, and you are fine. But in a restaurant, you can find beans, but you may not find the corresponding bread because the kind of bread is always higher in proportion to the beans. And people will think that you are not normal. And you cannot tell them, Ebami because there will be a problem. You will now start looking for the closest alternative. Give me beans. You will not look at the back so that people will not be looking at you. Give me beans. They say we have put it. I mean beans. They have put it. And two donuts. Damala is my name. God bless you.